Okay, here's a quick and dirty on the grazing tools and the, the tool rack on the Kubota. Somebody requested it on Facebook, so I'm gonna do just a very quick overview. We'll start out up here with our real uh, dispenser, I guess you could call it. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna have a front rack attached to this eventually to hold my step ins, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. So basically your reel can, can hook onto that. Uh, very handy, saves a lot of energy holding onto the reel. You get back here to the rack, and uh, this is about, I don't know, two years in the making. I made a previous version and made a lot of adjustments and decided what I didn't like about it. And then I've been working on this one for quite a while and I finally got it installed a few weeks ago. There's a spot here for two sets of button nose pliers, large and small. Uh, these are the large ones down here, the small ones up here, uh, held in rubber so that they don't bounce around too much. Here's a calf hook. Uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world to get out, but you can get it out if you need to catch a calf. Uh, this slot right here is for our uh, utensils that we use to raise the fence up with to move the cows underneath. It holds about 10 or 12 of those. We use the white uh, 7 8 inch post a lot uh, to be braces and corners for our poly. So this will hold 22 of them right there. This is the post pounder that we use to put those in. Uh, it's short, sweet, I think it's a piece of one inch pipe. Then this thing on the end here is to put on top of a permanent post and hit with a hammer so you don't splinter it. It goes right here, it's got rubber hose on it so it won't rattle. Uh, this spot up here, all the way, the length of the rack. I've got a hot shot in there right now because we're in calving season if I tag a calf and you know need that as a thread against a cow, that's why that's there. Right here we've got our tension tool. It fits in there nice and neat and tight. It's got rubber on it too so that it won't vibrate around. Machete up here. This is a flat nose machete. Uh, pretty good place to keep it. It's out of the way, but it's easy to get to if you need to chop a weed here or there. It kind of is held in there with uh, friction so that it doesn't rattle around either. Uh, hammer. This is sometimes if we have a permanent wire on a 7 8 post, we use the hammer to readjust it, and then that's where this little gem on the end of the post pounder comes in. Our step-in posts live down here. I'm building a rack for the front, so that'll probably change when it does. This divider right here just pulls out, so we'll have the entire bed space. Uh, this is a three compartment little tool deal where we keep insulators and various odds and ends and try to keep them organized. That's made out of a piece of eight inch purlin, galvanized purlin. Uh, very simple. Then you probably noticed that uh, with the rack, integrated into it is a 10 inch bed extension uh, we just move the tailgate back 10 inches you can see my poor workmanship and welding here in a lot of these places this is not finished I've got to tighten it up a little bit make some adjustments and get it painted but the to to uh, tailgate functions as a normal tailgate would on a Kubota so that's nice uh, here are the real racks they're very simple um, I just noticed this morning that one's only tacked on kind of crazy forgot to weld it but it's made to where you can slide your reels back and forth um, to where you can shuffle them around a little bit if you need to a lower and an upper I think I can put six reels on the bottom and five on the top keep them all out of the way um, little toolbox over here We've got a tray right there that you throw an extra set of pliers claw hammer something like that in and then underneath it, since we didn't need the whole length for our step-in post, there's another little toolbox underneath here uh, that's kind of out of the way that you put stuff you don't need to use very often. This is the other end of that rack at the top. It's got a divider, so we can put little reels of uh, poly wire up there, um, water, water components for the water system and all that. Here's another shot at how the reel holder is made. Works pretty good. It probably needs a little fine tuning. This is the other end of the calf hook sticking out here. A few little things I'm going to do different uh, and just tweak and change, but all in all, I've been really, really happy with it and it works very well. Saves us a lot of time and saves us a lot of digging around, throwing stuff around in the bed of the Kubota and pulling our hair out. All right, any questions, just comment or post. Uh, be happy to answer them. Thank you.